Welcome back to our Let's Play of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Uh, when we last left off, I was uh, apparently getting chased by a bunch of uh, Zubat. Uh, I didn't really show this off. Uh, under uh, the Lost and Found, you can find various people's satchels. And they do show up on the uh, mini map, like this one right here. So I'm gonna quickly grab these satchels, and before we uh, move on, there's one right here. Uh, there's one up there. It's quite a journey to get up there, though. It's not too bad. I just gotta find this, uh, worn bridge. Who knows? Maybe I'll find new Pokemon along the way. After this, we'll go uh, deal with Cleavor and the awesomely brilliant idea of just throw his food at his face. Oh. Hello. Come on, stand the ball. Scrape balls are expensive to make. Here we go. Oh, a hair across, huh? Looking for female, uh, combies. That's a female. It turned around. Please don't run. Alright, didn't immediately run, so I'm gonna throw a great ball at it. I found some male combies, but I hadn't found a female combi yet. Damn it. It's gonna run. Well, it's using struggle bug. I really want a Vespa Queen if I can get one. There we go. And a Burmy. Not much of a threat, even at a level 18. Alright, this is where the satchel should be.
I, I actually want that Heracross. Even if I uh, can't use it because I decided I'm not going to use a, any uh, Alpha Pokemon, I do want that Heracross. I like could at least add it to my numbers. It's a very big pair across. Let's use double hit. Oh, it's level 45. I didn't even see that. Probably going to be a bit tough to cat to get down. Eh, not bad. Oh, I got a crit. That's why. All right, it's low. It's low on life, and it's burned. And bye, bye, Ponyta. Don't knock yourself out. Uh, I don't know. Dust docks? Alright, this is going to be close. Got it! Where's Sarah Cross caught? All right. I'm quite happy with how that went. Uh, got a hair across, got a female um, combi. I'm going to have to change my team now because... Uh, Everybody leveled up. And the last satchel that we had was down here. Dust stocks. Only three hundred, uh, I'm going to assume, meters away. Oh, Graveler. Thank you. I didn't know. I didn't think that would work, but it did. Ah, so this is the Sky Tumble Stone.
Let's see, what can I get rid of? This. Coming across that uh, satchel soon. Oh, it's just a binary. On the other side of this wall. There has to be a way to climb then. Can't break this? Okay. Oh, there is a way up there because there's Pokemon up there. Choke up there. I'd rather fight this Geo dude than you guys. Oh shoot, I'm fighting all of them. Uh Um Let's get rid of that uh Geo dude first. If I can. Okay, good. Sorry, Saduck. These things are level forty two. Run it away. And the lost satchel. Are you still following me? Okay. Alright. Let's just grab a few more items. A giant blossom. Can I even take this thing?
Not Bell Awesome, Blissey. No, I can't. It's level 62. That's right. Was all very interesting. Back to the graveler. Okay. So let's head back to here. Rest out. <clears throat> Put some items away and then finally. Go to Cleavor. See what Pokemon we're bringing with us. So yeah, I got a Flareon. I got a, a, a Dart Dartrix now. All right, anything under twenty. you down here along with uh, you and I think I caught up a barrel too uh, anything else under Nope. Hey, um, the barrel will probably be our head glider now because I believe this Pokemon is a rock bug Pokemon. So let's just go straight there. No more detours. We need some levels. Oh, there's cricket tots here. Or cricket tunes. I didn't know that. Oops. Did not mean to fight this Starly. I think I needed to capture one more to anyway. Maybe. We'll find out. Yep. 
Yep, there it goes. This uh, side looks are weird because sometimes, sometimes they're aggressive and sometimes they're not. Okay. Okay. Oh, I should take that uh thing off my map. lost my satchel yet. Okay. Yes, automatically connect. Let's see if there's any um, mystery gifts yet. A clothing gift. Oh, never mind. Must have already gotten it. Hey. Right. Oh yeah, I wanted to take Right. Okay. So let's see what we can do about Cleavor. My chokes look weird in this game. So you say that the galaxy people come up with a method to quell Lord F Cleavor's frenzy. What? You mash up Cleavor's favorite foods into balls so you can throw offerings at him? Well, that's quite an unorthodox approach. Galaxy people, your inventiveness just blows me away. It's not that inventive. <laughs> I mean, now you can make offerings to Lord Cleavor from a safe distance. I lend you my aid if it means we'll provide we might provide Cleavor with his offerings. Let, let's begin at once. Hold on, Leon. Don't get ahead of yourself. Hi. Who wears short shorts? Whatever the plan is, you'll need Cleavor's favorite plump beans. I've brought them, as promised. Gah, that's right. My apologies, Aruna. I forgot all about you. I admit, as we haven't been able to solve this ourselves, we seem to have little choice but to turn to the galaxy team. But even I still have my doubts about whether we should entrust such a thing to an outsider. These galaxy people don't share our customs or our values. So prove to me you're worth it, worthy to stand in the presence of our noble Pokemon. You may battle by ordering your Pokemon you have in those little Pokeballs. But to but on my side, I have a Pokemon close to me as as close to me as a sister, as one of my blood. If you can defeat Glaceon and me, I will entrust you to Cleavor's fate. With Cle with Cleavor's fate, not to Cleavor's fate. Uh, will you battle us? Yes. And allow Glaceon's true strength to chill you to your depths. Alright, Babero. Let's see what we can do. Uh, it's an ice Pokemon, right? So, this should be super effective. Hmm. 
Not bad. Ow. Let's see if we can do some more damage before it knocks us out. There we go. Battle decided. All right. I see now. Pokeballs are simply your tools of choice, not products of disregard for Pokemon. You still understand the the Pokemon that you've caught and treat them as partners. I feel better putting my trust in you now, I think. Let me see to your Pokemon's rules. Now, explain my Galaxy the Galaxy Team's plan. What do you mean to do with these foods? So because you have to keep your distance, you'll match Cleavor's favorite foods together, ball them up, and try to quell his frenzy by throwing them at him? Interesting. So you've developed soothing balms of sorts to calm our lord. That's much better than the tea time balls or Lavington balls the others came up with. Balms even sounds like balls. Very well. If it'll help soothe Cleavor's frenzy, let's make these balms uh, with our very hearts and souls. There, a veritable mountain of bombs. This should please Cleavor, if any, if anything can. Now then, ready yourself, and I will summon our mighty Cleavor, Lord of the Woods. I'm ready. As am I. Oh, mighty Cleavor, Lord of the Woods, though it isn't yet time for time of ceremony, we've prepared an offering of your favorite things. Benevolent Lord, who works his might between the heavens and earth, we offer our gratitude, and beseech you, reveal yourself to our eyes. Listen well, Ayame. Keep your focus on Cleavor. Dodging will be vital. Try to avoid his moves as you're throwing your bombs. Russia. hard to eat with axes for hands. Alright, Lord of the Woods, Cleavor. Uh, to calm victor to claim victory against a noble Pokemon and quell its frenzy, you have to throw bombs at it until its frenzy gauge reaches zero. If you manage to create an opening in its noble's defense, you'll be able to send out your Pokemon up, uh, to battle against it. Win the Pokemon battle, and the noble's guard will stay down for a brief time. Uh, during that window, bombs will be more effective than usual, and you can throw as many so throw as many as you can. Oops, wrong button. I wonder. It's I kind of. Nope. Ah. 
I have yet to see an opening f to, to throw my Pokemon. Oh well. Didn't have to fight with Pokemon anyway. Would have been nice, but that's okay. All right. Received an insect plate from Cleavor. Well, what happened? Some kind of light erupted from Cleavor's body. Has Lord Cleavor's frenzied mind truly been put at ease now? Does this confirm that the strange lightning was the blame for Cleavor's unnatural power? Maybe. Well, this is what I think, after all you've seen. We know strange light came from out of that space-time rift the other night. Those bolts that struck Cleavor and driven him into a frenzy, after all. Lightning came from the space-time rift? But if Almighty Sinnoh really does dwell within the space-time rift, then the strange lightning, it indeed was Almighty Sinnoh's power? Then were we even right to try and interfere? I happily went along with his plan to create some bombs, as if I knew what I was doing. Like some kind of thoughtless fool. Outrageous. Calm yourself, Leon. Remember that the Lord of the Woods has long been our protector, keeping the Pearl Clan safe from dangerous Pokemon that might harm us. Would powers sent by, by the true almighty Sinnoh have driven Cleavor to attack us and to attack people and Pokemon indiscriminately? I doubt it. What I am I accomplished just now, it needed to be done. <clears throat> Glad we could settle this without further strife the, with the Diamond Clan or the Galaxy team. If we come across other Pokemon in the grip of this painful frenzy, please help them. Hmm. Yes, fine. I sh suppose I must concur. I apologize for becoming briefly incomposed. I'm grateful for what you've done for my lord. Please take these, on behalf of the Pearl Clan. Consider an apology for having spoken brutally to you earlier, and as a token of my thanks. Citrus Berries. Let me take care of your Pokemon I'm well. Well, they didn't actually fight, but thank you. I think I finally come up, come to believe that you truly did fall from the, out of the sky. Though I still cannot imagine the reasons for to at play. And it seems you've, we've settled things here, though between you and me. I wouldn't mind seeing Lord Cleavor in such a frenzy again. He is frightfully strong, after all. Alright. Time to find Kamado. Uh, how many... I have 92 to report. Alright, I think I can... I think I, I'm good to turn things in. Okay. What is my uh, thing pointing me towards? Eh, whatever. Oh, it's pointing me towards the exit. Alright. So you've got 30 Pokemon. Can you report on your findings? Yes. Well, 
Seems like you made new observations. Let's take a look then. Hmm, I see. Most illuminating. I'll update the Protex with this new data. So we finished Rowlet, Pichu, Cascoon, Eevee, Silcoon, Beautifly, Zaravia, Pikachu. I, I evolved my Pichu into Pikachu finally. Zubat, Burmy, Babarel, Cy uh, Paris, Psyduck, Baneri, Combi. That's all of them. Hmm, not quite enough for a rank. Time to head back to the village and report to Commander Kamado. <laughs> I saw the light f fading into the sky. It must have been you must have quelled the Lord Pokemon. And what do we have here? Could it be? Those two of the fabled plates of old? Please, let me have a look. I see these are the letters carved into them. Let's see. This one says, Where all creation was born, that is the beginning's place of origin. Well, yeah. <clears throat> Seems to be a phrase of a very old myth. How did you come across these? Eh, Pokemon gave them to me. I see. So you were given these plates when you impressed Weird Air and Cleavor. That is quite something indeed. My heart is practically racing with excitement. It is my guess that you'll find more plates like this scattered across the Sui. If we were to gather all, them all and decipher the scripts on them, we might, may uncover something absolutely amazing. Mysterious uh, mysteries of the past. Oh, how they tickle my curiosity. What a joy to be alive in such times. Well, I must be on my way. Until next time. You're not going to give me a prize or something? Let's see how the, uh... Well, first of all, while we're here... Eighteen... 18, 18, 19. Okay. Oops. I'm just going to release all of them. Not that one, though. I'm going to keep a male combi just in case somebody wants to know the difference between a male and a female. Okay. Oh, hello. You're not going to believe what I saw. I saw something incredible in the wilds. Oh, it was incredible. Uh, what was it? The thing I saw was a will a willow wi will o the wisp, a ball of bright red fire. When I was walking in windswept ru uh on a windswept run the other night, leapt out of me like woo. And at it again with this story, huh? Don't listen to her, man. My big sis always gets carried away with her fairy tales. Oh, for goodness sake, I'm not making it up. I saw the will o' the wisp with my own two eyes. Oh, yeah? Then why don't you show it to me? Huh. 
Good luck with that. So frustrating, you won't believe me. I honestly did see one. You're the Survey Corps, right? I see, I, and I hear you're quite the prod prodigy. You, I bet you could easily catch a Will-o'-the-Wisp. Uh, do you think you could catch one? It's I, the one I saw and bring it back here. Okay. I could try. Look, there's Ponyta. And my big, big Cricketune. So you head to the farms. This lady wanted to see a Zubat. Zubat's eyes, to be specific, but was surprised when they didn't have any. Okay. Okay. Any more side missions here? Don't look like it. Let's talk to Commander Kamado. <coughs> While I'm here, let's get five more if I can afford it. Like I said, if I can afford it. see what side missions we've got here. A peculiar ponyta. Yado, a fellow from the village, claims to have seen a rather strange ponyta. You must investigate the matter for the good of science. Okay. Ah. <laughs> Was it a shiny? Because I have a shiny. Well done. I have already received the report of your exploits. Successfully quelled Cleavor's frenzy, restoring peace in the mind of his Suez people. You are, a you are a stranger to us, one who fell out of the very sky, yet you have served the galaxy team admirably. I admit you have earned yourself some degree of recognition. But things are not settled yet. I received word that there are other Pokemon nobles falling prey to the frenzies elsewhere in his so carry on with your research and survey duties, and prove that you are truly an asset to us. That is all. You are dismissed. Fellow Survey Corps members are likely to be at the Wallflower. Go and join them. Okay. Benny, old chum, the usual order. Three servings of potato mochi, please. Oh, and if this, there's anything else you'd recommend, by all means, bring it out. Whole village is gossiping up a storm about your young friend here, you know. She's got quite some luck to have come back unharmed after facing off against the Cleavor. I'd just say Ayame was well prepared. And she is was a quick study on how Cleavor moved in battle, from what I heard. All in all, it was a very good show. A victory well earned. Going to work in the field dance should feel a lot safer now, thanks to Ayame. Thanks to you, Ayame. And if you want to feel even safer, try making some of these. Benny taught me how to make them, so I brought down the instructions into a recipe. Smoke bombs. Castor fern leaf and a soot, soot foot root. Lovely. And now that we need not worry about being mulled by Cleavor either, let's take our chance to study all the Pokemon that call the obsidian fields lands their home. 
All of them? Because there's quite a few of them. Hi. Ayame. I've been waiting for you, Ayame. My name's Vesa. There's something really important I need to tell you. Would you come with me? Okay. Um, this is kind of secret, but something terrible has happened. Hisui is in a whole lot of danger. Hundreds of years ago, a being that brought calamity to this region was sealed away by someone using the power of a strange magic. But now, for some unknown reason, the magic has come undone and the seal is broken. Who are you? I hate to think what might happen at this rate. So please, Ayame, hear me out. I need you to restore the broken seal. Uh, just tell me what to do. Oh, thank you. I'm so happy you believe me. I just knew you'd be willing to help. This odd keystone is for you. Keep it safe. Okay. That's the item you need to get a spirit tome. Quiz collect wisps that glow in the airy purple light. Interesting. After the seal was broken, a whole bunch of wisps scattered across the suey. A hundred and seven of them in total. Wow. The odd keystone I give you, you'll be able to gather them all. See, the wisps are normally invisible, but not the ho to the holder of the odd keystone. I know it's a huge task, but please, you just have to gather all the wisps for me. There's one really close to here, to where we are now. Why don't you start with that one? See the flame hovering over there? Try touching it. I guess that lady was right about the Willow of the Wisps. Uh, what am I supposed to... Oh, I'm supposed to take this bridge. Sorry. Well, hundred... One down, a hundred and six to go. The Wisp. It has been absorbed into the Odd Keystone, just as it should be. Should have been. Thank goodness I picked you to help me with this. Come talk to me if you ever need help finding the remaining Wisps. And one last thing. To gather more and more Wisps, I will give you rewards as thanks. Wait for you while you carry out your search. Good luck. <coughs> Eerie apparitions in the night. Of the night. Okay. The next day. Whoa, the Galaxy Team hairdresser really is, dare I say, cutting edge. Hi. Uh, she's a uh, descendant of one of uh, Team Galactic's big guys, big ladies. Uh, Mars, I think she was? Here I am, I, the girl who quelled Cleavor, aren't you? That's me. I knew it. You've got a rep quite the reputation, you know. I mean, you quelled one of the mighty, one of the almighty Sinnoh's chosen ones. Some people are actually kind of scared of you for doing something so bold. Excuse me. I'm, um, a Rezu, by the way. <coughs> I'm a ward of the Diamond Clan, so special skill... Uh, is give my, my special skill is giving haircuts. Okay, really nice to meet you. Oh, snip! But I came here to talk to your Mr. Kamano. See you around. <coughs> All right. All right. Hello. Uh, the gin ginkgo cart sells items you won't find at the general store. Okay. I don't have much money. Hi there, I got a special product in stock. Uh, Egg King Rock. <coughs> uh... Let me sell some stuff then. There we go. 
Oh, an oval stone. It's uh, to evolve. Uh, is it to evolve uh, Chansey into Blissey or the other, the baby Pokemon into Chansey? I don't remember. So there's some side missions over here. Ah, aim, throw, don't stop. The targets, wait for it to pop. This board interests in some target practice. Uh, all you have to do is lob some balls and try to hit, pop some balloons. Easy peasy, fun and breezy. Uh, even if some fine prizes lined up, even got some fine prizes lined up to give out, depending on how well you do. Uh, if you manage to break 10,000 points, you'll uh, be in for a real treat, I can tell you that. But for the challenge, just let me know. I'm usually found in the practice field. <coughs> okay. Sinone. Oh, you're the girl with the survey core, aren't you? Thank goodness you came along. Can I ask you to fetch a plant for me? I need to use it for some special medicine. The plant I'm after has three leaves and it tastes bitter enough to make you dizzy. Fortunately, I don't know where it grows. Ask, try asking a niece of the medical corps. Uh, she'll point you in the right direction. Okay. Anyone else? Yeah, there's one over here. And one in the opposite direction. Looks like I'll be taking side missions until it's time to uh, move on. Bonds between Pokemon and people. Oh my, you. You know, you remind me somehow of my grandmother. She's always so friendly with her Pokemon, just as you seem to be. I feel the same horror from you, as if you could be become true friends with a Pokemon. I'd be interested in seeing how friendly you are with the Pokemon you carry with you. I hope you could care to show me sometime. Okay. Uh, how about uh, Datrix? He's traveling he's a true friend, I can tell. Grandmother is precisely like you, the type of person who understands the minds and hearts of Pokemon. Grew up watching how she interacted with them, so I have a bit of a knack of sensing how compatible a person and Pokemon are. If you'd like, I can keep coming to show keep coming to show me your Pokemon. I'm happy to inform you anytime how they feel about you. Cool. And a rare candy. Nice. Uh let's go over here. Hey, you're from the Survey Corps, aren't you? Just the gal I was looking for. I'm working to make these here fields bigger, but the ground sure is hard to plow, so I'm looking for someone to lend me a hand. More fields means more food, which means everyone is happy, including the Survey Corps. We're all in this together, after all, right? So if you bring me a ground-type Pokemon, can I borrow it? Uh, you can borrow it, as long as you give him back. No. Alright, so I need to find another uh, Geo dude. Where's the person with the balloon with the target practice? Hey there, value customer. Would you rather I had more wares for you to choose from? Be nice. That it would. Unfortunately, Tao Hu refuses to provide me with any new goods to offer. He won't listen to a word I say, so would you please try and persuade him for me? I'm sure you'd get somewhere if you bring him some hearty grains as a token of goodwill. Two or three stocks uh, ought to do it, but I'd make it three to play it safe. Okay. Those clothes you were wearing when you first came into the village. 
I, I can't describe the shock that they gave as if I was a glimpse into the future. There's no mistaking it. You're passionate about fashion, aren't you? Definitely. I see. Well, I have a duty to ma of making this village more fashionable, too. Let us study fashion together. You're part of the Survey Corps, am I right? Please, I ask you to lend me your talents. Uh, I've been told that Hippopotas, a creature that can be found in the Crimson Marylands, have different appearances based on their gender. I feel like I would be able to see and compare them. I could inspire me to create new designs for my clothing. Please, bring me both a male and female Hippopotas. You got it, lady. Anything else? Let's see the guy that said he'd do the thing. Is it in my, uh... Jerome, <coughs> Ponytop, will o Oh, it's down there. Practice fields, not the training grounds. Duh. Alright, let's try and get 10,000. If I hit something, Ten thousand was easy. I could have made twenty thousand if I had hadn't messed up at the beginning. Four mud balls. A nugget and fifteen great balls. Nice. Okay. So we're gonna head back into town and call it a day. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a like, share, comment, subscribe. It always helps me out. Uh, when we come back, I'll probably have done a number of the uh, oh look, Cleavor symbols on there. Number of the side missions that they gave me, starting with uh, the peculiar po ponyta. Until then, thank you very much for watching, have a good day, and take care.